Hello and welcome to the BlackBerry webcast entitled Profiting from Compelling BlackBerry Themes. My name is Natalia Kofton and I will be your webcast moderator. Today's presenters are Mark Russell, Product Manager, Application Platform, and Dale Ducharme, Team Lead, BlackBerry Theme Studio, here at Research in Motion. Thank you for joining us today. It is a pleasure to have you with us. During today's presentation, slide will be pushed to your screen automatically. There will be no need for you to do anything to view the presentation. If you are having difficulty seeing the slides or receiving audio, please click the help link located at the top of your screen. This webcast also includes a live chat support feature should you experience any technical issues and require immediate assistance. You will be able to connect with the chat support agent simply by clicking the button located above the resources section in the lower left corner of your screen. You may download the presentation slides for this webcast by clicking the link in the resources section. After the presentation, we will be con conducting a Q&A session to answer any questions that have come through from the audience. You may submit a question at any time by using the question field located at the bottom of your screen. This webcast will be available on demand within 24 hours after the presentation. Now I would like to turn the call over to Mark Rothwell, who will begin the presentation. Mark? Thank you very much. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us here today at our presentation on profiling from compelling themes for the BlackBerry. In terms of today's presentation, we're going to split it into three sections. The first section will talk a little bit about themes and the opportunity that exists. The second will do a demonstration, which will be handled by my colleague, Dale Ducharme, who's the team lead for BlackBerry Theme Studio. And in the third, we'll handle a live Q&A session with the audience. Thank you very much for attending. So first and foremost, for those that aren't familiar with themes on the BlackBerry, themes on the BlackBerry are a great way to completely personalize your BlackBerry smartphone experience from beginning to end. Themes let you completely change how the BlackBerry appears, from the color of icons and the style of icons, to the wallpapers that appear in the background, to menu items, control boxes, uh, fonts, and you know a whole range of other other uh, various characteristics, and they really serve to give the BlackBerry a unique experience that can be different from every other BlackBerry that's out there. Now, on the BlackBerry, there are actually several kinds of themes. The first, uh, which users of current BlackBerry smartphones, such as the BlackBerry Bold 9700 or the BlackBerry Storm 2 uh, or the BlackBerry Curve 8900, is the Zen theme. The Zen theme is a theme where your home screen features icons along the bottom of the screen, and you can see one here in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Older, users of older BlackBerry smartphones, such as the Curve 8300, may, may be more familiar with icon-based themes where all of the application icons will appear on the home screen, and you can see this on the upper right. Another kind of theme which uh, we've had in a number of BlackBerry smartphones that we've actually reintroduced recently in BlackBerry device software version 5.0 is the Today theme. And the Today theme is a very dynamic form of theme where information from uh, appears in your home screen. Information such as your latest emails, uh, recent phone calls that are made, MMS and SMS messages, as well as cal calendar appointments. It's a very dynamic way to keep your home screen giving you the latest up-to-date information. And then finally, we have a concept called a custom theme that lets you uh, basically take the various properties that you see in the other types of themes and create something completely unique and different. Now, in terms of themes, there's a very interesting market opportunity that exists for people who are interested in creating themes. On the BlackBerry, there are currently more than 36 million active users today in the BlackBerry market. And we recently surveyed those customers to ask how many of them are taking themes and putting them on their device in terms of personalizing their experience. And the response back was actually quite staggering. What we found was the vast majority of BlackBerry users today found it either somewhat important, very important, or extremely important to be able to personalize their device with a unique BlackBerry theme, whether it's a theme of their favorite television show, their favorite movie, uh, their favorite activity, family vacation, even their own company branding or favorite products. People were putting themes in their devices. What we found as well was a lot of customers are actually purchasing BlackBerry themes. And what we found was that approximately a third of BlackBerry users today are purchasing themes for their BlackBerry smartphones. Typically, they're buying about five or six each, and they're typically spending $3.70 or more on themes. We recently launched themes on BlackBerry App World in December, uh, early December 2009, and it's quickly become a very popular category on BlackBerry App World. 
The reason why themes are very popular as well from a development perspective is, quite frankly, because they're very easy to create, as you'll see in the demonstration done by Dale. They can be created by developers, designers, and, you know, very, very interested hobbyists as well as a way to personalize the BlackBerry experience. We're finding that end users are doing it to make their BlackBerry unique in their own. We're finding that companies are doing it We're find in terms of getting their brand out there or promoting their products. And we're also finding that it makes a very good marketing vehicle for companies to push their brand, uh, push their products, and, you know, get in, um, evangelism of their product out in the market. Now, when it comes to creating themes, the way that it's done today is with a product called BlackBerry Theme Studio. Long-time users may remember this product, which was formerly known as the Plasmic Content Developers Kit. At the BlackBerry Developer Conference this year in November, we launched BlackBerry Theme Studio version 5.0, and we're, we've been very, very excited about this release. Within a few weeks of its release in uh, November, we actually had more than 110,000 downloads of this particular tool, and the response has been staggering. People are using BlackBerry Theme Studio to do a range of things, not only creating themes, but also animated graphics that they can use in their themes, uh, applications and mobile websites and web applications. It really has a wide range of use. The tool is a completely free download, and you can get it free from blackberry.com slash theme studio. Now, within BlackBerry Theme Studio, we actually ship two products uh, within the suite of tools. The first is BlackBerry Theme Builder, where you do the bulk of your design work in creating a unique theme, and we'll be demonstrating this today. The second is BlackBerry Composer, which we'll also be showcasing. Composer is actually a vector illustration and animation tool that you can use to design the animated graphics for use in your theme and also in your applications. It's got a full range of uh, design and animation features that are very, very easy to pick up and use and really add a level of dynamicism to your theme. Now, BlackBerry Theme Builder is very, very powerful in that it lets you customize virtually every aspect of a theme on the BlackBerry. And when we say theme, we don't mean just wallpaper or uh, changing the fonts. You can literally change the look and feel of almost everything that you see, whether it's a cursor like the, the hourglass that transcends the device to dialog boxes to menus that appear. You can add animation. You can also actually define which applications appear on the home screen in what order. You can define... Web website links, so if you've got a website that you want your theme to link back to, you can include that in there as well. It's really an extraordinarily powerful tool that lets you really transcend how the device looks and appears. Now, in terms of what you can create themes for, we've made this product very accessible in that it can create themes for almost all of the BlackBerry smartphones that are out there, basically from the 8700 all the way up to the new Storm 2 and BlackBerry Bold 9700. You can create themes right across the board as long as it's running uh, device software 4.1 or higher. We've also built these products to be very, very easy to use. And you'll see in the demonstration here, we've designed them to be a graphical user interface that can be comfortably used, whether you're a designer, a developer, or a hobbyist. There's no coding required to create a theme. It takes care of you, being, you putting the theme together and you making it run on the device very simply and easily. Now, if you're like a lot of people that are out there, chances are you've done previous design work, and if you're doing design work, you've done it in Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Photoshop Elements. With BlackBerry Theme Studio, we've made it very powerful in that it can work very comfortably with Adobe Photoshop. Not only can you have Adobe Photoshop or other bitmap editors be your tool of choice for editing and designing the icons for use in the product, you can also import Photoshop PSD files directly in. So if you have existing Photoshop assets that live for in another purpose, such as a website or an application or a print project, it's very easy to repurpose them and bring them in this particular product. BlackBerry Theme Studio also has very powerful capabilities to let you change the navigation of a home screen on, on a BlackBerry smartphone. And there's some pretty fantastic things that a lot of our customers have done and many of the listeners on the call have probably already done today where you can change how a user navigates from application to application and it can create a really, really compelling user experience. 